Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today I quickly want to introduce you to photo retouching app. I've already mentioned some other retouching apps in the past, but the app I will talk about today is really easy for anyone to use. The name of the app is called Touch Retouch. You can get it for around $2. Since the main focus of this app is on retouching, so it doesn't have many other functions. But that's the reason why it's pretty easy to use. And today I want to try erasing stains, get rid of some unnecessary parts and things like that. So feel free to give it a try together with me. Once you open the app, the first screen looks like this. Select album on the left to start. You can see your camera roll here, and so choose an image of your choice. This time, I'm going to use this picture of a girl with freckles. We basically use these four panels at the bottom here. From left, we have remove object, quick repair, remove lines, and copy stamps. Select this quick repair, and simply trace these freckles using a brush to erase them. This kind of work can be a hassle if you do it on Mac or your PC or your hands might get tired but by using the Apple Pencil, you can do that as if you're writing something on the iPad. And that's the fun part I think. So I always tell people to do retouching on the iPad. I'm sure you'll get hooked on it. I really want you to give it a try by downloading any images or something online. Okay, it looks pretty clear now. Be careful not to overdo it, though I kind of did it as a sample to show you how much can be done. But as you can see, you can change this much. There is a before and after option at the upper right, so you can see the image of before and after from here. It's changed a lot, right? And it's done pretty well, don't you think? Alright, next I'll explain about the remove lines option. This is used when you want to remove any line objects such as electrical lines and unnecessary parts of one's hair. This time we want to remove this window frame, the cross window frame here. So select remove lines and you can set the thickness of your brush here. Select the thick brush and all you have to do now is just to trace the frame. Just trace them from top to bottom, take your hand off the screen and it automatically identifies the surroundings to erase them nicely. In the same way, we will remove the horizontal frame here. Alright, just like that. So that was all to remove lines. It's literally a function only to remove lines, so it's pretty easy to remember. So use this remove lines function when you want to remove straight lines. Okay, next is about the copy stamps tool. This is a function used when, for example, you have an image of oranges like this one, and you want to add one more orange. Using the copy stamps tool, set the target area first and trace somewhere else with your Apple Pencil like this. This lets you draw the same object that's set as the target and copy. It emerges here as you can see. You can create something interesting by making use of this function. For this copy stamps tool, there is a mirroring option at the bottom. And once you click on it, options that say horizontal and vertical show up. It's an option to invert your drawing after copying. For instance, if you trace using your Apple Pencil while having the vertical option turned on, the orange that's set as the target is drawn horizontally flipped, like this. This way, it doesn't look like it was copy and paste it when you look at it at a glance. So it might be a good idea to make use of this function too. Lastly, remove object. This is similar to repair I mentioned earlier, but while repair is for erasing small parts, this is for erasing bigger parts or objects. Let me go ahead and erase this big hole of cheese right here as an example. Select the area to be removed and tap go to erase. Don't you think it was removed nicely? You can erase smaller parts of course. And there's this thing called the lasso tool here at the bottom 
And when you select this, it circles the area like this. So if you circle it and tap go, you can erase all at once. So just remember that a brush is for tracing and a lasso tool for circling. What I'm trying to do here is I'm going to erase all the holes and have a cube side cheese. I'll see if I can do it. I've done the bottom part now. It even fixes the left part that's missing here. I find this amazing. I was super impressed when I used this tool for the first time. The upper part that's missing here also can be fixed nicely. I think this corner right here may be a bit difficult. Let me try. Alright, how is it looking? If you take a closer look, it may look distorted a little bit. But how you trace really matters, so if you do that well, I think you can create a nice cube sized cheese. So this is before and after. Isn't this awesome? All the holes are gone. Okay, just like I showed you, this retouching app is for you to quickly retouch any images. I'm going to erase everything here at last. Okay, now it's gone. It even looks like nothing was here in the first place. When you want to erase a bigger object like this one, make sure to select Remove Object. Alright, so that was the introduction to the app called Touch Retouch. It's pretty straightforward to use, right? Anyone can do it, so go ahead and download it if you like. It only costs around $2, it's really cheap, so I highly suggest getting it. There are other retouching apps other than this one. I have some apps introduced in my previous videos, and I want to briefly introduce them to you guys here. First, Photoshop Fix, a free app by Adobe. This app also focuses on retouching. In my previous video, I work on the image of this girl who almost ended up looking like she had a plastic surgery. You can make her eyes bigger, or you can have her get hollow cheeks, or change her hair color, etc. using this app. So for those who want to Photoshop one's face, this Photoshop Fix is the right app for you. There are Photoshop Mix and Photoshop Fix, so make sure to download Photoshop Fix. Next is Lightroom. Lightroom also has a retouch function. Lightroom is recommended for those who want to process a raw image or who want to do Photoshop editing professionally. And it includes a retouch function. The app is pretty sophisticated and erases anything you want in the image. So if you want to try it, feel free to check out this video. Also, we have this app called Pixelmator Photo. You'll probably find both apps Pixelmator and Pixelmator Photo, but make sure to download the photo one. They have a retouch function implemented in this app too. Similar to Lightroom, this app is also for processing a raw image or for professional Photoshop editing. It costs around $6 at the moment. I find it's pretty cheap. I don't think there are many photo editing apps like this one, which is high in quality and cheap for an outright purchase, so I highly recommend it. If you don't have Adobe subscription especially, I'll say go for a Pixelmator photo. Next one is Photoshop for iPad. This app was released by Adobe last summer, and it's a Photoshop for iPad version. This app also has a retouch function. I have a video where I did a complete tutorial on this app, so please check it out. I talk about how to compose an image by making use of the retouch function, so please watch and learn how to use Photoshop for iPad. It costs around $10 per month. If you're a member of Adobe Creative Cloud, you could keep using Photoshop on iPad, but if you aren't, it's $10 per month, so please consider your options. At last, this was a video comparing four different apps for photo editing, including Procreate, Photoshop Fix, Affinity Photo, and Pixelmator. What I compare was their distortion tool. We have what's called a distortion tool as one of the retouch techniques. To show you what it is, for instance, I could make her butt bigger here in the image by using my Apple Pencil as you can see, or I could make his face smaller like this. So we call it a distortion tool where you can alter any objects by making use of your pen pressure. 
and all of these four apps have a distortion tool and I compare them in that video. It's pretty interesting, so please check it out. Okay, I introduced you to some of my videos from the past up till now and I'll put all the links to them down below in the description box too. So I hope you check them out and learn as much as you can. The app introduced today, Touch Retouch, is the easiest retouching app. So I think it's a good idea to start with it if you're a beginner. Alright, that's all for today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up as it would motivate me a lot too. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. Bye bye.